I can safely say that we are pretty much at the root of the ideological disagreement between the two of us. You know, it has now emerged exactly why I would rather die than be friends with somebody like Guerrilla Warfare X. He says in his little attempt to own me, you know, I can safely say a fucking, you're a fucking retard. You're so beneath someone like me. Your parents failed, properly failed to socialize you. And that is why you don't get along with the neurotypicals and that little distortion of the text. He says, when you try something like making a little bit of money from stocks or that subpar business of yours, it's chub change compared to what I make on a constant basis. I'm half fulfilled. I am with my life and my own multiple property and vehicles. Again, I'm not rich either, but I work for the nice things I have. Stop blaming autism for being a mentally inept, delusional, mental gymnastic excuse for using a piece of shit when it's clear you're, when it's clear your parents failed, failed you horribly. Um, no, actually, um, you say this. Um, you say this. Uh, it is as a form of abuse too. You say that. Um, let me see. Let's let's look for it to peel it out of your paragraph. You have. Uh, you think that you're the only person who's had to deal with similar problems you face? No, I don't. I can tell you countless people who have had some forms of autism and who have been bullied, who haven't self-destructed and turned into a serial killer, serial killer sounding sociopaths, who have become a resentful abomination that blames society and dwells on the past as hard as you and can't mentally be mature past the age of 15. That's what he says. And then he says, grow up, Paul. Period. And that's how he wants to end this little fucking debate. Something happened at some point to me, and I stopped giving a shit about personal accomplishment. All those things that you think make you a better person. You want to win this game of competition between us, and I don't give a shit about the competition in the first place. I mean, that's what's so actually pathetic about this. I just want people like you to fuck off and die. Leave me alone. Dude, I'd rather set myself on fire than be friends with you, because anybody who thinks that these little tiny things and dying with the most toys makes them the better person is somebody that isn't worthy of being a friend of mine. Yeah, I went there. And because that's how I really feel. You are so far beneath me that you care about this shit. I don't. 